Okay, I just had a little bit of a panic attack. I thought that I didn't record the entire fucking Metatone fight. I had to stop and dig through my files and find it. Thank God it's there! I was seriously about to throw a fucking fit! Jesus! Okay. <sighs> Welcome back. <sighs> Let's make some fucking progress, yeah? Shit. Okay. Okay. Save point. Hotline, gore, and save. Okay. Ooh. The next couple of minutes are gonna be me trying to calm down, like my hands are shaking. The elevator is in use. Oh, this looks familiar, doesn't it? I miss mom. Can I call her? Hey, nothing? No, okay. Yeah, you gonna answer your phone. God damn. Okay. I'm on my own. Oh, shit. I'M NOT READY! I don't want it to be over, I'm not ready. Oh man. Oh, this music. Doesn't this look familiar? The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy! I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. Despite everything, it's still you. It's still me. It's Asgore's journal. All the current page says it's a nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. It's a king size bed. It's a bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. It's a clothes drawer. There are robes, button up shirts. And a pink hand knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. Oh god. It's a trophy. Number one, Nose Nuzzle Champs 98. Oh. Room under renovations. It's a golden flower. It's a golden flower. Oh man. Dusty toys. It's a twin size bed. There are a lot of striped shirts in here. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. What a comfortable bed. If you lay down here, you might not ever get up. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Yes. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Yes. Got the locket. Perfect for cutting plants and vines.
Armor Defense 15 says best friends forever. Fuck. Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Okay, this is like really getting to my feels because this is exactly like the house in the ruins, but apart from the flowers, there's no color. I mean, think about it. We know that Toriel's not here. We know that Asgore's son isn't here. So without his family around, he, there's literally no light in his life except for these flowers. Oh man. <laughs> Excuse me. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. The coals are still warm. Over time, Azriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. It's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. Oh, honey. The stove top is very clean. Someone must use fire magic instead. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. It's a note. Howdy. Help yourself to anything you want. There's some white fur stuck in the train. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. Lock the chain. There's an old calendar from the end of 20 something teen. A date is circled on it. Okay. Then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Azrael, wracked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Azriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Heart. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The 
The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. Will give us hope. Will save us all. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. What's down here? Okay, no. Wait. Yes. Okay. New home. Last corridor. <sighs> Shit. I don't... <laughs> Can I go back? I don't want to be here yet. <sighs> Let's get it done. Oh, right. Hey. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together. You will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now. You will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP ex increases. When you have enough XP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt the more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you... You never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. No. You're about to face the ch greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped in the ground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. As long as you hold on, as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. And he teleported away again. Okay. <sighs> Boy, here we go. I don't know if I'm ready. Throne room.
just down here. Excuse me. Oh. These are all the other kids that have fallen. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Rose. It's empty. Well, let's go fill it, I guess. I don't know. God, this build-up is ridiculous. Oh my god. Okay. Actually, I'll be right back. <laughs> Hang on just a second. No, don't open one drive, you piece of crap. Okay, I will be right back. Give me just a minute. But let's go. Nope, I gotta click on the screen first. Let's go. Oh, man. I'm not in control right now. My heart is pounding so hard. Dum de dum. Oh, there's someone there. Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Good fucking god, Mulan. Did you guys hear that? We're taking to the vet tomorrow, so don't worry. Here we are. Howdy. How can I... Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Yes, I do. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. Thankfully, I'm not burning in hell. You know what we must do? When you are ready, come into the next room. a throne. It's another throne covered by a white sheet. Oh my goodness. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. The sooner we go, the sooner it'll be over with. Yeah. I guess. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Fuck. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Let me check my items first. I see. Anything you want to do is important enough. Even something as small as reading a book or taking a walk. Please take your time. Oh, back so soon? How are you feeling? I'm not ready, but I'm ready. I see. 
This is it, then. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. My heart is pounding so hard. Goodbye. Okay. Fuck. Here we go. You quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Shit, this is just like Toriel. Oh god. want to, but I have to. I'm sorry. <sighs> I really hate this. Oh, man. It's got great music, though. Or that you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap, I'm dead. Mate in your pie, Mom. You ate the butterscotch pie, you're at the bone. The smell reminded Hescor of something. Hescor's attack is down and his defense is down. Oh god. Better try. destroys me. Okay, that's one. <sighs> now 
now that we've met him, I know that's his voice at the game over screen. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and break and make a separate video for this fight. Okay. You tell Asgore that he's killed you once before. He nods sadly. This implies that he's aware of the timeline thing. I think I just noticed something. No? Wait. I'm wrong. I thought I saw something. It looks like that attack didn't hurt. Obviously it did, but... I've got the stained apron on, which heals one uh, hit point every other turn, so that's what that's doing. But it really screws up my invincibility. I'm dead. Yep. I need more food. I need more food. I have to go and get more food. Okay. Saving right before the fight at the end. That was 13 minutes I'll have to cut. Ready? Okay. Here we go.
microphone's dying. Okay. I'm just gonna turn it off. <sighs> Jesus fuck, Mulan. <laughs>